this is a, an epic poem called um, The Dead Dog of Dog Dyke. Uh, Dog Dyke is a bleak and featureless uh, place in the middle of nowhere in Lincolnshire. I saw a dead dog in Dog Dyke whilst on my way to work. I was stuck behind a tractor, a Massey Ferguson for what it's worth. It lay in the middle of the road, the, the dog not the tractor, it lay in the middle of the road with its legs stiff in the air. I thought I'd get out and move it, but I didn't think it would care. Now, not a lot happens in Dog Dyke. The other day, there was mud in the road. Some people came out to stop and stare, and others took selfies, so I'm told. Now, <clears throat> epic poems are amongst the first examples of uh, English literature. Uh, they feature things such as uh, a quest, a yearning for home, courage, bravery. But one of the main features is the length of the epic poem. My epic poem, The Dead Dog of Dog Dyke, has 96 verses. <clears throat> Excuse me. We've heard the first three, so there's 93 to go, and I don't think you or I have the strength to sit through them all. So we'll just do a quick recap, then we'll do the last three. I saw a dead dog in Dog Dyke whilst on my way to work. I stood behind a tractor, a massive Ferguson, for what it's worth. It lay in the middle of the road with his legs stiff in the air. I thought I'd get and move it, but I didn't think it would care. Not a lot happens in Dog Dyke. The other day there was mud in the road. Some people came out, stopped and stared, and others took selfies, so I'm told. Uh, so 90 more verses, courage, bravery, yearning, a quest, etc., etc. So back to the lesson of Dog Dyke on this damp and dreary day. It spoke to the human condition in a dead dog kind of way. Uh, life as we know it is sadly finite. We're on the never never. Now I don't want to die anytime soon, but I don't want to live to forever. And so the lesson of Dog Dyke is we're only here for a while. So walk and talk and sing and dance and laugh and love and smile. So walk and talk and sing and dance and love one another and be kind. So Merry Christmas.